This video, we're going to use Edublocks again. We're going to do another countdown again, but this time we're going to ask the user where we want to start the countdown. So we're just going to give the user a little bit of, of interaction with this countdown program. So I've got my code here and I've imported time again because I want to pause this for one second in between each countdown. So the first thing I need to do is get some information from the user. So I'm going to create a new variable and I'm going to call this the user, uh, let's say the user value. Notice I'm using camel case, lowercase u, capital V, no space. Okay, so I'm going to drag out this user value variable. And what I need to do is get input from the user so I can store it in this variable. So if I go into the statements, I'm going to look for input, which is right here. And I'm going to ask the user, where do you want to start the countdown? So if we run it right now, not much is going to happen. It's just going to ask, where do you want to start the countdown? I'm going to type in 10 and nothing happens. It's just the end of the program. So what we need to do next then is say, oh, okay, they said we want to start it at 10 or 12. So that's how many times we're going to loop it. So I'm going to grab my loop for I in range and then the number. Now this is going to cause a problem, but I'll come up with that in just a minute. I'm going to make this throw an error so we can talk about it. So the number of times we're going to loop this is the number of times they wanted to count down. So we'll go grab that user value and put it in here. And just so I can show you the error, I'm just going to print the variable called user value. Okay, now if I run this, it's going to ask me how many times do I want to count down. I'm going to say 12. And then there's an error. The start must be an integer on line 5. An integer is just a number. So let's look at line five. It's actually not line five, it's line four that's the error. So line four, it's saying this start value, this user value must be a number. And this is a little bit strange, but this is how it works in programming languages. When you get input from a user, it's always considered to be a letter. Even if they type the number five, if it's still going to be, the computer still thinks it is a letter instead of a number. So what we need to do is make a new variable to change this into a number. So if I go into variable, I'm going to create a new one. I'm going to say, I'm going to call this one the user number. And I'm going to drag it out here. And the user number, I'm going to convert this answer that they gave us into an integer or into a number. So if I go down to statements, I'm going to grab this integer block and I'm going to put the user value in it. So the answer we get from them is a letter as far as the computer is concerned. So in order to count with it, we need to convert it into an integer. So now here, instead of user value, we're going to say user number and we will print user number. Okay, so we get the input from the user. If I say 12, we'll convert that actually to a number 12 so that we can loop 12 times. So let's run this. It should print our number. I'm just going to say 12. And it printed 12, 12 times. Okay, so now we're going to do the same thing we did before. We're going to subtract one from the user number in order to make it count down. Let's go get some math. And we're going to take the user number and subtract one. And we'll wait one second. So we'll do time.sleep. And finally, at the end, let's print our little blast off statement just so we are counting down for some reason. So I'm going to grab the print statement that has quotes around it. Oops, I should have stopped this a long time ago. So you can see all of my code here is in Python in text form as well as in block form. And we'll be talking about this later.
and how to notice some patterns and such. So if I run this, I'm going to ask the user how many times. I'm going to say 12, 11, 10, and so on. So this was a lot. You're just going to be playing around right now with, with these blocks. I just gave you some things, some way to get... Oh, hello world, because my blast off didn't save. I'm just trying to, to give you a place to start. So you can start playing around with the edgy blocks. You're just doing ugly stuff right now. You're just trying to play around with how to make some things work. So don't worry too much about understanding all of this yet. You will by the time we're done. Have fun with it.